Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by the one, the only Aiden O'Neill of Clarkston Football. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm doing really well. Um, so, you know, coming into this, uh, you know, coming into this season, um, it, it's been a really good year for you guys. We'll, we'll talk about last week in a minute, but uh, um, you're a kicker. And what what, what is that like for you? Um, being a kicker, it's, it's interesting. Um, a lot of people don't talk about, uh, like, it's not really physically demanding, but mentally it could be really demanding at times, but yeah. Yeah. So how long have you been, how long have you been kicking? Um, I've been kicking since the eighth grade. I I did play soccer and then I kind of didn't really like it as much. So I kick the football and I'm like, oh, like I'm I'm good at this. Like, I mean, let me try this out. And yeah, ever since then, it's been it's been a good journey. So so here's the thing. I mean, honestly, it's like the kicker kind of separates himself from from a lot of things. Right. Um. So like, what's that like for you? Just to just to kind of like be in your own world during the game. Cause you never know when you, when you, when you may need to be called upon. Right. Um, I always stay prepared because I mean, like last week, for example, um, Griffin Bowman, he had a, he had a touchdown with two seconds left in the half. So I had to run out there and hit an extra point, but just stuff like that. I'm, I'm always prepared. Like I always got to see what's going on. Yeah. So, like, how do you, um, of course, getting the big win against Lake Orion um, yeah. last week, you know, what was that, what was that like for you guys to, to get, uh, to get the big win? So, I mean, you know, I think second year in a row, you've beaten Lake Orion in the playoffs. Yeah. Um, you know, what was that like beating a, a team that you know pretty well? Uh, it's, it's, it's always huge because. Uh, it's a huge uh, rivalry. We we go back way. I think it's like our our sixty something time playing each other, and it's just huge because that that win really it sets the tone for us for the rest of the playoffs too. Coming off like a a big win to start, just stuff like that, and I mean it's 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 our rival, so we always want to beat them. Yeah. Let, let me go. I need to let, let's go. Let's go in your head a little bit, Aiden. Um, I, I need to understand, like, you know, what what is it like during the game for you? Because I know we kind of talked about this, but put when you put yourself into different situations, like when you miss something, what's that like? Like, how do you process that? I've always wondered how kickers do that. Um, just forget about it, and um. I'm zero for one, zero for one, um, that kick. And I'm just like, let's go zero for zero. Like next one, zero for zero, just repeat, repeat. Like whether I make it or not, I just for, I forget about it. Let's go to the next kick. Is that, I mean, obviously a lot of people say, you know, that's easier said than done. Right. And, um, like how do you just, you know, you can, is it, is it that easy for you to forget about a kick or is it, do you have to think about it a little bit? Um, I mean, I think every kicker um, has a moment where they don't forget, and it, it's really hard. But um, I've kind of mentally like trained myself to forget about it and go to the next kick. Yeah. So, so what? What? What's the longest kick you've ever made? Like in practice, or like just just in general. Um. So it was actually, uh, it was really windy. Um, I had a 68 yarder. Yeah. But it was all sticks, really windy. But I decided to test the leg and 68. 68 yards. That's pretty, yeah. that's pretty good. Um, most you've made it as long as, I don't know if you want to, you don't have to reveal this if you don't want to, but what's the longest you've had in a game? Definitely reveal for uh forty nine. I hit it against Oxford uh this year. Yeah, that's the longest I've attempted. So that's that's good. So I'm sure you've gone to all the obviously, 
uh, with the amount of kickers that want to go to college and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure there's been these kicking camps pop up everywhere. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you, your summer's been busy with that stuff. Yeah, absolutely. What's What has that been like going to all these camps across the country and all that stuff? I mean, there's, you know, with Coles and all, obviously Corn Blue and all that fun yeah. stuff. What, what's that like for you meeting all, all these kickers across the country? Uh, I mean, I'm friends with a lot of them. Like, we're in group chats. Like, just we have a we have connections with each other. Like, we understand we understand each other because we're all kickers. And and once you get thrown in those camps, you realize like like it can be really competitive. And you're not just some great kicker. You're ever everyone's as good as you or, or better than you so so you probably know kickers from all across the country oh yeah i do so what's that like just talking with everybody it's like oh yeah you did well this week congrats yeah you did well this week how what what, what what's that like in congratulations from all across the country um well are you talking about like in just, season or like yeah season in or in just in general and all that I mean, some one of my friends, he had a a fifty six yarder in game, and yeah. we we're all like, "Holy, like that was a great ball!" Like, and all that. Yeah. Um. So it's like, how have you improved this season overall? What What's been the biggest thing that you're that you've really worked on this year? Um, the season or the off season? Um, we'll start with the off season, then we'll go in the season. Um. This off season, I think um I got really strong. I I've been in the weight room a lot. I gained um twenty pounds, I think. And I've just been in the weight room and um just put on weight, getting stronger. And I think I've gotten a lot more consistent too. And I've improved my technique a lot. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, you know, as the playoffs continue on and and all that stuff, you know, what what is it? What's it like to just be on, you know, this run and your season, you know, seasons continuing and all that fun stuff? Um, just I'm taking everything everything in because I mean, our last game could be Friday. So just that and taking everything, every opportunity to take advantage of it. Okay. Usually I ask players, like, how do you, like, mentally prepare for a game? Like, how do you, like, does it, is it just, like, every kick you're just, you know, how, how do you, what what's it like for you? Do you just, do you just with, are you, do, do you just kind of separate yourself from everybody and kind of just mentally kind of think about stuff? Yeah, pretty much. I, I mean, I always do, I always do that in the game, too, because usually coaches, it's, like, chaos, like, everyone's kind of, everyone's can get mad and like I just try to stay away from that stuff so I can stay calm and that's mainly what my routine is pre-game I listen to music um I go on the goal post I lay on the goal post and like look like I have my own routine um yeah yeah um all right I know when you put headphones on which I know you currently have on right now what are what's uh what's Aiden listening to um I love Kanye West. I love uh Travis Scott. Um it depends on my mood too. If I'm trying to be more relaxed, like I listen to Frank Ocean. Um just artists like that. Yeah. Um if if Aiden's angry before a game, what does he listen to? Uh probably probably Travis Scott to be honest okay. to get more um, hype yeah is it and then just more calm stuff if Aiden's just like you know it's like hmm, I'm just getting ready for a game uh, I mean yeah I mean my playlist changes like every week so okay um let's see uh and then what's been the best what's the best moment so far this year I mean, beating Lake Orion was pretty. That was pretty good, but yeah, I can't really think of a, a best moment. 
I mean, I've had a lot of great moments, but okay. yeah, I'd say beating Lake Warrior. Oh, that was a good one. All right. All right, Aiden, let's get to know you a little bit more. How about that? Yeah. Favorite, uh, let's see, who's your favorite NFL player currently right now? Um, I mean, I'd probably have to go with a kicker, but. I mean, you can go with anybody else if you want. Uh, let's go with Jake Bates. <laughs> sure, let's go with that. Yeah, Jake Bates. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. Um, what is your all-time favorite movie? Um, I like Interstellar a lot. Um, I mean, all the all the Avengers Avengers movies are also really good. Yeah. Outside of football, outside of school, what do you like to do? Um, I like lifting. I like hanging out with friends. I um. I like playing video games as well. Yeah. Stuff like that. Um, favorite video game you played? Um Fortnite. Yeah. Uh and then finally, what is something people do not know about you? Um That's a There's a lot of things people don't know about me, but I'd have to say one is um I don't have family in the United States, just my mom and dad. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Uh, my, yeah, my dad's side's from uh, Great Britain, and my mom's side's from Japan. So I go and see them a lot. I travel a lot. You're probably adding up on the frequent flyer miles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Aiden, thank you so much for the time as always. And, Absolutely. uh, Best of luck through the rest of the year. Thank you. It's a pleasure.